All right, in this video, we want to refactor some Vimal or Vimscript key maps into Lua. And as you can see here, I still have a few that are using Vimal syntax, but I'm cheating a bit by putting them in to the Lua Vim command. And so they're inside of a Lua file and getting parsed. And that's fine. I might get you there. But what I want is for all of my key maps to be nice and properly set up using the Vim Lua API. We'll grab a few here in the video and move them over and check them out. And if you want to look in the help to see how this is done, what you want is nvim set key map in the vim.api. And so if you were using telescope and you did nvim set, you can see you have the local key map for the buffer and set here. And that's how I got the window open there. Or you can just do help and type it out. All right, so the first one I want to start out with is this yank all and buffer. What that does is basically do a select all. A lot of people like to go GG and then V and G and then yank and that's perfectly fine but that's a lot of extra keystrokes and so it's nice to just have leader a that yanks everything right away and you don't have to do anything else and i want to move that over to my actual mappings lua file and clear out some of this cheating i'm doing over here the first thing i'll do is take the raw vimal and find a place over here for our new fully Luitized mappings and bring those to the top here and do this will make some space now the first thing I want to do is change the comment here to a Lua comment and so I'll do that and now I just want to follow along with what we saw down here and get that into proper Lua. So you can see that I'm not doing the no remap. It's just a straight up end map. And so that's all I want here. Typing in Vim and you can see here that we have the vim global variable here. If I go to API, then you can see members there. What I want is nvim set key map. Just like in the help, we want the mode, the left-hand side, the right-hand side, and a table of options. We'll go ahead and trigger the snippet here. So the mode that I want is just normal okay and left hand side what i want is exactly what the command was in vim script but with a little bit different approach so i still want to put leader a all right and i still want to have the colon percent Y and the carriage return. All right. And then for this table here, I want to have no remap false. But as you can see, this was a silent. And I want that to be true. And now this 
should match that. And so what we'll do here is we'll save it, but we haven't sourced anything yet. So we know that leader A is still working because nothing's been sourced yet. We'll go ahead and we'll quit out of all of this and we'll go back in and we'll go to the session for this video. And now you can see if we look here at the hump preview that that line is definitely gone from there and we'll go bring our guy up here and I'll hit leader A and it's working so we can get rid of that and move over and do a couple more a lot of times you're told in the vim community to just set your up down and left and right arrow keys to be no ops so that you don't use them and generally it's a good idea not to use them to move around the page however for several years now i've been using up down left and right to move between windows so when i go over here to this mappings lua file i'm just hitting right and i can go back left and down and up and down and left and i'm using the arrow keys as shown here so i want to move those over to the mappings lua file what i'll do is take these here and yank them out of there or actually delete them out of there and we'll go over here the bottom here and make a little space there so we don't need that much space and we'll change this all right so we want to set these up and these are all going to be pretty much the same the only difference being that we want one for up, one for down, one for left, and one for right. What we'll do is we'll go down here, and of course you can copy and paste what you had before. And we'll make this in, and we'll make this up okay and we'll make this control w up and we'll create a table here and we'll say no remap equals false Okay. And let's see, is that looking right? We have our up, control W up, and no remap false. That looks good to me. What we want is here, and then we'll change the word up to down, and then change the word down to left but only on this line okay and then we'll change the word left to right but only on that line and then what we'll do is we'll comment these out save over here we will close out just to prove that everything is working as expected okay you can see here that is not there anymore 
And if I go move around with my arrow keys, up, right, left, down, right, left, all working quite well. Everything is looking good. Oh, I want that. All right. And now we're all set. And I've made good progress on getting more items out of my cheater situation here and into actual true blue Lua. Some little gotchas, such as the mapping here, is for comma backslash. I have the backslash escaped. And that does this here. And you'll find other little things as you go through. But generally, this is how you just port things over from VimScript to Lua. And if you go to GitHub, what's that smell? And check out the dots repository. This will be there and you can go through and you can steal any of my dot files, including these mappings. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.